Yo, what's up guys? Today we're watching some of the most iconic episodes from Season 5 of Adventure Time. And if you guys want us to watch more Season 5 of Adventure Time, then get this video to 10,000 likes! Make sure to check out the Patreon for the full commentary, and also access to exclusive Patreon content like the full series of Total Drama World Tour. And subscribe. It's not good to waste somebody's qualities against your own? Well, no. I mean, if you feel something... You feel something. This is a Magic Man episode. Magic Man needs a restraining order. He deserves to be me too. He's stalking this child. He's just watching. He's just watching. He's, he's here for the joke. Just like us. Is Magic Man's like real name Kevin Spacey? Because he's eerily close to that child. Do you want to be killed in a mysterious car accident? <laughs> if not, then I suggest you stop talking, bro. All right. Well, what about BMO and Ice King? Would they make a good couple? I'm not coming back. I'm not coming back. It's important. Remember that. Hey, what's that in your pants? What? Not again! Did you shit your pants or are you just happy to see me? What the heck? Are they alive? I don't know, man. I think there's some kind of magic toy. What? Magic Man made fucking voodoo dolls of them? Let's check this out at the house. I'll make a special spaghetti with a new sauce. Sheesh. Magic Man just introduced Finn to Sims. <laughs> oh, this is a couple I want to see. I kind of like it. <laughs> What? No! You're not supposed- this is against the bro code! No! How could you do that, Finn? What? What? Jake get c***ed! He makes Jake get c***ed! What, 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 what? what am what? I watching Jake? right now? It's not real, though. It's not real, right, Finn? Me look so lonely. Hey, Finn, pass me little lady. Uh, you guys broke up. <laughs> <gasps> He's with Finn! Ah! What the ball? Man, he's making Lady Rainicorn a that fucking That is slut. fucking weird. That's Lady weird. You can't do that, man. That's fucked up on so many levels. It's not real. I'm just imagining myself fucking your girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Whoa, Riz. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> look at his face. <laughs> I heard they won an Emmy for best voice acting in this episode. <laughs> best screenplay on this one. What's Lil Finn doing? He's about to kill himself. He's crafting a noose right now. Whoa, neat. Well, don't do that motion. Uh, this motion is crazy right now, Finn. He's jacking himself off on an interdimensional level right now. Goodbye, Little Finn. Goodbye, Little Finn. Hey, ladies. This is Big Finn. Big Finn in the house. What's up? Don't be mad. Each other. Oh my god, Dude, this is this so weird. <laughs> this is so weird. This is like that one fucking Wii game where you just have to jerk off your Wii remote. Jake the dad and Jake the dad. The Jake will never hurt dad. It's Jake the dad. Does Jake give birth in this one? Is this finally the Jake birthing episode? Jake can shapeshift, right? Could he shapeshift himself a womb? Just like Rose Quartz, bro. Hey, dudes. They're still pretty sleepy. We didn't get to witness the fucking birth. This that is sucks. fucked up. I'm going on IMDb. I love all my little babies so much. I'm not gonna let anything happen to them. The motherfucker wiped his eyes with his child. Well, I don't know if you've like seen like a family of like puppies with how the parents interact with them, but like the dad in a family of dogs has no idea what the fuck it's doing. It has like no instincts to handle this situation at all. <laughs> well, the mom is like equipped to do everything basically. Just like a real father. <laughs> He's making them kiss. They're like laughing over. How quickly do the babies develop? Oh, <laughs> that was cute. That was so fucking cute. Oh, oh, he just Holy opened that drawer shit. with his asshole. Mm. Jake's beautiful puppies. Aww. One day, they met a fox. <laughs> I remember that. Something wrong with my stomach, said the baby eating fox. Said the baby eating <laughs> fox. <laughs> the way he like slowly tapered off as he was reading that. Who is helpful as if we're chubby. <laughs> Sorry, sweetie's mom's manual says no. They want to finish the story. They're going to beat the fuck out of him. Hey! <gasps> His children developed so fast. They were born yesterday and they're already reading this book on their own. Hey, free book. Oh yeah, Mr. Fox, the goat! Look at this book I found about eating babies. This is my society. Like, I want to live with these guys. Why haven't we been eating babies this whole time? <coughs> They're eating rocks. <laughs> They're literally eating fucking stones. Oh, we can all oh, take a nap. They're in their angsty teen phase already. They're already like in their teens and he's walking them around like this. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. They're not doing anything bad. Like that's that's Jake's dance. The, well, maybe the one with the sword. I don't know what the fuck she's gonna kill herself. Let kids have machetes. That's what I've been saying. Come on, hey. 
근데 김기환. So true. Cor, what does that mean? Yeah, Cor, you know Korean. Yeah, I'm fluent in Korean. She was like, yo, what's good in the hood? That's what she said. No, no, it's... Oh my god, the way his face is just melting off of his body this episode is- Oh my god. Is that a baby? He doesn't look right. <laughs> Fellas, there's never gonna be a perfect baby. That's true. <laughs> That's so true. Surprisingly profound, actually. Y'all better watch out! Ew, ew! He looks like Play-Doh. I'm hungry, man. Like, give me a bite. Come on and show the old man what you got. Super! His children are already bilingual. Like, these children are so... They built a mecha <laughs> the with their own that? bodies. These That's children awesome. are ridiculous. That's disgusting on so many levels. They're killing them! They're killing <laughs> no. them! To be fair, they wanted to cannibalize Jake, but like, those foxes were funny, man. <laughs> Ew! Ew! Finn is so weird these episodes! Someone get this kid on a restraining Someone order! Someone get this kid a motherfucking father figure! Shelby? Shelby? Oh my god, Tree Trunks is back! Let's fucking go, bro! We've got the two most important characters in the show right now. This is like the reject squad of the entire show! Lemon Grab, Ice King, Neck, Nectar... This would be the craziest G. This is a nightmare blunt rotation. Why would you say- You should have said blunt rotation. You had to make it sexual. Shelby can go all the way up the holes. Hark! The traps galore. Might kill you whilst you do explore. Is it just me, or do you ever just want like a giant boulder to fall on Neptune's head and just crush and kill him? I've never like, wanted that for a single second in my that's life. That's just the vibe I always have. I love Neptune more than I love- More than I presumably will love my firstborn son. I no longer need this map because I am a map. A minor attracted person. The map Lied to me! It doesn't want me to find the exit! How do you taste? Mild or spicy? I think he's a little spicy, bro. Make yourself into food now! <laughs> Realistically speaking, they should eat lemon grab, right? Help them avoid scurvy. This whole episode is just going to an escape room with your friends. Neptor is the one person who's actually trying to solve the escape room, and everyone else is just fucking around. Tree Trunks is making a literal pie Why right now. Why didn't they get Neptor to make the pie? Like, that's literally, that's what it was made for. Did not consent, you fucking piece of sh that mouse showed us the room door. He's still making out with it, bro. I'll just die here and y'all can eat my body if you want to survive. Oh my god. Why is there so much creepy lemon grab animation in this episode? How are we ever gonna worm our way out of this fishy situation? I think I have an idea. That was really... He could have cut the Shelby with a gun or something, like in that show. I have a good idea. Kills Tree Trunks. <laughs> tree Trunks does not come back after this. There's no way. His legs are crazy, though. I've been reborn. Aw, oh, he had to carry Neptor up because the slope was too high. <laughs> what the fuck is that? I'm sorry, like, I love this show, but like, who was this episode made what for? What the fuck? He's pouring juice in their eyes. Does he have infinite fucking lemon juice? Oh! Flat Stanley! Oh, step back, you all. Is he gonna suck on her tits? <laughs> Ew, even worse. We almost there, lemon grab! Yes! Master TT, don't criticize my running, Shelby. These are the probably the most detestable characters in the whole show. <laughs> no fucking way they just fell off. This door! You can hack the mainframe or whatever, right, Bimo? I'm not Bimo. <laughs> Father, look at me. What? Father, look at me. Oh my god. Oh my son, the grand prize of me loin. The grand prize oh. of me loin. He's not wrong though. Has your dad ever called you the grand prize of his loins? You're the greatest sperm I ever had, <laughs> man. I brought the ultimate thing. This is fanfic. Except it's not my journal. He wants to make the cake. cake real. This is what inspired the show that's coming out. Is this what happened? Is this the lore? Fiona, Cake, Marshall Lee, they'll all be living, breathing beings. They're already real. He created the show. You must be destroyed. No! <laughs> Holy shit. Look at his fit. He was black. Beardless Ice King is wrong. No. No! 
<laughs> is this what the Fiona Cake Show is gonna be like? He looks like a Cuphead character, bro. It's just ten episodes of this shitty, ugly book dancing around. They have to reference that shitty, ugly book in the actual show when it comes out, though. Your characters can always be real in the garden of your mind. That's so, so true. true. Remember when you showed me your imagination zone? That sounds like you were molested, Neptor. Don't say that ever again. I love the imagination zone. I missed you, Ice King. Oh, Fiona. Can dreams be as real as waking live? This show is weird, man. The amount of layers are going on right now. This robot that they created that is like neglected is having this weird relationship with Icing about a fan fiction he has where he obsesses over a female version of Finn. This show is weird. Mm, Princess Bubblegum, we are starving. Immediately send us all of your candy. I like it. It opens with mm. Mm, I left them a lifetime supply of candy. This episode is pretty fun. Oh my God, wait. Ah! What the fuck? He has to bring the bread home somehow and working as an escort, you know, it might not be the greatest job, but it's honest work. It's perfect for him because he can just transform. He's like the perfect woman. Jake should be in Rent a Girlfriend. Rent a dog, yeah. Hey, let me grabs. you home? <laughs> So you were complaining about incest core. I think this is what incest happened. This is incest. This is the baby. Lemon grab is the product of incest. You know, maybe some species shouldn't be allowed to reproduce. You know, that's, I'm just beginning to get that thought. What the thing is up with this guy? Oh, Lemon Wall. I am Lemon John. Is he the bathroom? How are they creating these creatures? They walk in, they just see the elevator from Maiden Abyss. This episode's so creepy, bro. Ah! Maybe the kidnapper's in there too, coercing them. This whole part where it was like lemon grab society and everything gives like salad finger vibes, you know what I mean? Are you saying you lock yourselves down here with all the food so you could eat it yourselves? No, no. Why is his fucking ass He's so just defined? all bones. Like are there bones underneath their lemon bodies? Like what is the anatomy <laughs> of a lemon grab? The food was not consumed, but was given life. You see, Finn? When we make out, we produce new children. She left behind a little something something. Whoa. Whoa, yeah, she did leave behind a little something something. I said all her fault. Oh, indeed. We must blame women for all our problems. I'm a guy who can't stop making candy life from the food. He's literally a breeder. He's like, I can't help it. This is kind of like the Barbie movie though. The lemon grab represents the stupid men and then they're blaming it all on fucking Princess Bubblegum. But in this time, they are in the right. We will go to the candy kingdom and take all their candy from them. Then we will give that candy precious life. But this raises like a very weird moral question because like the candy people eat candy, their houses are made out of candy, but they themselves are just candy that has been given life. And Lemon Grab wants to take all candy and give it life. But obviously that's not sustainable because you need to eat candy to be candy. You activated it, bro. He just gave it a chest compression. Whoa, hold the phone. He just gained consciousness. If I act, the candy people will suffer. If I don't... The lemon people will suffer. He's got an ethical conundrum on his hands. <laughs> that was fucking amazing. He just killed himself. We go. All done. Motherfucker just erased part of their brains. We all just have to keep a closer eye on these two so they don't get into any more trouble. <laughs> He's eating Lemon John. That's what Lemon John would have wanted though, in his memory. Who is this? Gunther's a giant man. Yeah. I'm sorry, what? You just self-insert in his own fan fiction. You can't just do this. You don't self-insert in your friend gender bent fan fiction fantasies? I don't like to make my fan fictions public, okay? The one Chris weird Jan. thing about Fiona and Cake, and it's even weirder moving forward with it getting its own show, is that is Ice King just attracted to Finn in a weird way? Ice King is Chris Chan. Y'all are just hating on my steez. I'm not listening to haters. Yeah, Ice King would be a lol cow if he was real. I'm sorry I didn't think you you're a real gob, but now I've seen your power, and I've got some things I did that I have to say sorry for. Whoa, that is a fire fit. How long have you been in here? Mm, a couple hours. She's just been fucking stalking. How long does Marceline spend just watching people? She just allowed Ice King to kidnap these women. <laughs> That's so fucked up. I 
I've got a story of my own. They don't want to leave because Marceline's super cool. Oh, she, this is just her entertaining her Alzheimer's like grandfather or something. If you think about it, that's what's going to happen when the Tumblr generation gets old and they get like Alzheimer's and stuff and they have dementia. Like their grandkids are going to have to read fan fiction to the hospital and see their eyes light up. Boy, have I got a treat for you two. The fluffy people and I baked these in appreciation for the mission you've completed. What was that? <gasps> oh my god, it's a hot male man. Oh, hey Fiona. Marshall Lee! Marshall Lee is a baddie. Come join me when you want more polite company. It's so weird, he's literally an R slash nice guy. Uh... I know you're gonna say yes to me, so let's just go. <laughs> That's messed up though, like, does he do that too when he's about to fuck? Like, I know you're gonna say yes to me. Oh, oh! Oh, this was so hard. Oh, <laughs> look at her ass. And I got two hot tomatoes. Will they make a good sauce, maybe? She's gonna make a sauce with her ass cheeks. That's what she said. <laughs> hey, break it up, you two. Out of my way, kitty. I'm gonna be inexplicably edgy now for the rest of the episode. This is the fan fiction episode written by some dumb old dude. What if I just take her right now, you know? <laughs> What? You see, like that. That's pretty inexplicably edgy. He's teasing, bro. Like, have you not, like, talked to a dude and then, like, as you're flirting, he steals your animal and, like, holds it captive? Like, if you're on a date with, like, a woman who already has a kid, like, you steal her kid and run away for a little prank. You think you've got me pegged? You must be kidding. I raise the dead up and they do my bidding. Is this Donald Glover's backseat freestyle? He goes on a radio show and they make him do a freestyle. Like, that's what this kind of feels like right now. <laughs> No, he dies? What? Is that a red bone stabbing his heart? No! I think this is it for me, Fiona. So, why don't you just admit it? You want me, bitch. <laughs> I like how Ice King is the most toxic male of all, but he still writes the main character not in love with any of the men. Okay, my shirt is like filled with cream puffs. That is literally like, my friend died prank? Like, he just did that. I just haven't figured out how to get to you. But believe me, I will. Oh, and he did because he's in the trailer for the next and series, he did. bro. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I, I thought my daughter was alone. Uh, <clears throat> I'll just be going. It's very relatable. That awkward moment when your dad is evil. Somebody in chat said, how is the couch not burning? Nerd emoji. Um, as you can see, she is clearly over a layer of aluminum foil. Therefore, the couch would not catch fire. They should like have her sit on like some brisket or something. Get like a slow roast going. Uh, do we need a torch? I'm sort of made of fire. Oh. Ooh, this is just an awkward date episode. Wait, they're still dating? I thought they broke up. Sorry, one second. Sure. He might have important loot on him. <laughs> He's literally forcing his girlfriend to play D&D. <laughs> and she, look, she's neutral face. Aw, credit to the butternuts, it's locked! This is Flame Princess realizing that she's dating a sociopath. He's not a sociopath, he's a gamer. Zelda. Why would someone go through the trouble of setting up a hologram unless they've hidden something in this room? Oh my god, now he's gonna spend like two hours looking at every single corner of this room oh, while this the other awkward. person involved oh, just wants to move on. Bro. Okay. We have to go back. This is you invite a girl over and you show her your Yu-Gi-Oh card collection for two hours straight and she just sits there. He's into those overly complicated board games that take six hours to play. No, no, six hours to read the rules, Core. Nope. This key is for something else. Look, the key didn't even fit that chest. So now he went back there for nothing and he has to keep going. God damn it, I would kill myself if I was in this position. Haha! <laughs> it's another key! Now we get to go back to the beginning. Oh. You keep wanting me to do things your way. This is pain. This is too real. But I don't like doing things your way. Is that because I am evil? Yes, he should have said yes. Yes, it's because you're evil, bitch. Burn, burn, burn! What? Oh God, it's fucking Goblin Slayer. No, no, no. Why does it have a chainsaw? Who made this fucking dungeon? What is this Binding of Isaac bullshit? Do the split, thou milk-livered maggot pie! Finn, I don't think this is a good match for you. You just wanted to play some D&D. You let your girlfriend do what she wanted, and you got kidnapped, and she's gonna murder some- She's murdered, like, several people. Maybe next time we should just go to, like, a farmer's market. The end of this episode is gonna- They're gonna open the thing, and it's gonna be the dumbest thing you can think of inside. <laughs> 
like a butt with what? eyes. <laughs> like a butt with eyes. Marceline, I got ups. Check out my ups. Bro, Marceline is bawling right now. Marceline's fucking bawling, bro. She just crossed them up like nothing. <laughs> Slam dunk! Well, she's like double the height of Finn and Jake, so she fucking dunks on those motherfuckers, bro. Why'd you invite ancient chubs to play basketball? Yeah! He's very dear to my heart. I love him. <laughs> Finn was disgusted by that. How can you love a creature who makes fan fiction of me and Jake as girls and thirsts after us? Man, this is a boring movie. <laughs> I like the book much better. This is so wholesome. I hope nothing bad happens. You stay in the car. I'll be right back. Simon! Ow, 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 ow. But my favorite music isn't playing. Protect us. But you're gonna act weird again. He's actually a bad parent. He's leaving the kid alone in a hot car. I call upon the power of ice and snow. It's this is gonna be like a squirrel or something. Like, what's the point of any of this? It's a deer. That deer that looks deer is so, so scared. scared. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> Baller! That's why they, they played basketball at the beginning of the episode. Because she's a baller since day one. Did I look pretty fly? No, no. You're scaring me. You're not funny anymore. This is gonna be good. This is gonna be worth it. What is this, like a supercomputer? Oh, it's a TV. Film before a live studio audience. Mute. <laughs> what a fucking troll. Oh, I love this. <coughs> oh, no. Oh, you're fine. Just a bit warm. Oh, she's got the scarlet fever. Oh, you're even worse. I mean, don't freak out or anything. <laughs> there must have been a super in that town, but I don't want you walking all that way. Okay. Hardest scene ever. Marceline learned everything she knows from this one day. Simon is the coolest motherfucker on the planet. Wowzers! Nope, never mind. <laughs> Bro, grab the pillow instead of the fucking metal pipe. <laughs> like, that's gonna be more effective. I'm sorry, Marcy. Simon! No, you left her alone in the hot car! You can't do that, man! And the windows are not down! Taking a break from all your worries sure would help a lot! Holy fuck, man, this is so sad. <laughs> ew, ew, it's like a fetus of Princess Bubblegum. You're okay. Do you feel awesome? One spoonful of soup solved her entire disease. Nah, dude, chicken soup? Chicken soup's built like that. I guess I'm just thinking about Flame Princess. I told her a joke the other day, and she didn't even laugh. Guess it's over between us. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she just didn't get it yet. That's true. Bimo, play My Chemical Romance on MP3. More like she used up all her laughs on some other guy's jokes, probably. Dude, he's already spitting incel stuff. He's like, she used up all her laughs on some other guy's jokes. Gotta let my mind fester a bit. You know? No, do not let it fester. What the fuck are you talking? Last time he let Finn alone by himself, he made everyone in the town fuck. The door's gone? Coraline? <gasps> Coraline. Now this I understand. Reckless violence? That speaks to me. <laughs> He freed the pillow people. This calls for a cellar pillow -bration. That That one doesn't really work. I'm no, that right. was a good one. There you are, Finn the human. Oh, shit. That's a hot pillow. Wait, is this how he ends his relationship with Flame Brand? Does he cheats on him with his pillow? You want to dance? Oh, well, I have a girlfriend. This is so fucking weird. It's a dance, not marriage. Oh, my lord. True. Man. You can cheat a little bit. Whoa! Grabbing her pillow ass, Finn. His hand is like inside of her. I'm the blanket dragon. Well, I'm daddy. Chappelle! What? Well, I'm daddy. You guys want to bring him his lunch? Finn fucked a woman. He fucked that pillow woman. And people say Finn never gets laid. He aged an entire life. I've come to speak with your father. What is it, Quilton? What is it, Quilton? Oh my, shut your bitch ass up, Finn. It shows up periodically and then disappears. Quilton, I need to find that door. I must leave my family behind. I do not love my children. Have we come to the right spot finally? Oh my god, his children are already so much older. He's so much older. Why didn't I say that first? Jesus. Just promise me you'll remember us when you're back in your real life. This is just insane, man. Are you comfortable? I'm all right. Core, this is an even more fucked up version of the Steven Universe episode where he goes through all of his birthdays. <laughs> this is this one he has an entire whole family with him. Oh. Oh. I don't even know how to commentate over this. He just did like a fucking speedrun kickflip off of gold. He lived an entire life in those pillows. Uh, thanks. Yeah, okay. Bye.
That was Flame Princess. She said she didn't get my joke till just now. <laughs> <laughs> now what about this dream? What dream? His family! He forgot all of it. This episode's crazy, man. And if you want to forget wife. everything in your life, check out our Patreon for so much content that you can consume. Alejandro Paredes, Asmus Bioga, Atomic Leon, Bento, Kamlu, Communism is One People's iPhone, Cosmic Dega, Crystal Bunny, Daryl Herb, James, Frozen Spaghetti, Gabriel Granados, Gub, Stargazer, Gummy Brain Rot, Goonie Snow, Jonathan, Helio, I Love Spilling the Milk, Isaiah Alfred, Kamui, Night VDB, Lilac Moon, My Artistry, Master Nate, Misty Sky, Native of Obama Gaming, Omega Waffles, Puffles, Remuel, and Steven Sanchez, Terrence Sills, Useless Grunt, Val Explicit, Wyatt Lime, Yahir Sanchez.